Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and man, the Wizard of Oz episode was a lot of fun. Wait, a SmackDown, though. I don't understand how those two got chosen. I know, I know, I know. Let's go ahead and go through all of the clues. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. So as you know, last night was Group B, and I know you expected Group A, because last year's format was AAA, BBB, CCC, until they got to the quarterfinals and the semifinals and then the finale, but they changed it up. I guess instead of changing the whole format, they just kind of changed on how they aired all of this, because as far as I know, besides the first episode, which was actually filmed in the seventh spot, all the other ones were filmed in order, which makes sense, because if you have a celebrity on set, you don't want them to come multiple days, you want them to come just three days in a row and then be done with. If not, that could take almost, what, a month and a half, and all these celebrities, they don't have that. So, that being said, we had four new contestants. The Gumball, who, man, what a voice, he's fantastic. Ms. Cleocatra, who I keep saying her name wrong, and I'm so, so sorry. The Afghan Hound, which I didn't even know was a real name of a dog. I actually was like, when I saw that yesterday, I was like, what? That's, that's, that's a real thing? And then the Beats, who I have to say, man, they were really, really talented. In the end, though, the Afghan Hound was revealed. And I know, I made this joke in yesterday's video, and I, I'm not trying to be mean. When Kevin Hart sang the other day, I said, wow, he was the worst singer we ever had on The Masked Singer. Clearly, he did it as a joke. But Savannah, I mean, oh man, that was, that was pretty bad. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't enjoy that. Though, she had a good time. That's all that matters. It was Savannah Chrisley, and I know a lot of people were saying, who on earth was that? Who, who is that? She's done a few things. Shark, I think it was Sharknado 4. Her family was pretty famous for not the right reason. And her father Todd. And then there was, there was a lot of stuff that went on. But if you don't really watch reality TV, you probably had no idea who she was. I mean, even the panelist had no idea who she was. I mean, you, poor Rita. Do I even have to answer this one? <laughs> I feel bad because Rita, obviously from the UK, why would she watch American reality TV? Am I right? I kind of felt bad for her. Though all their guesses weren't too bad, I gotta say. They weren't like so bad. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I understand the Stallone one. They have a reality TV show, so that kind of makes sense. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me know in the comment section if you got it right or if you got it wrong. Nonetheless, that left us with three people left. The Gumball, who I think, I don't know why he was in the smack. He he was, I think, the best one, though you could argue the fact that beats were pretty good. Am I right? So you have, obviously, those guys and then Ms. Cleocatra. All very talented. So it's definitely going to be hard. I think Ms. Cleo, Cleocatra, I keep wanting to say it wrong, should have been the SmackDown. But let's go through these clues. And I do have pitch correct audio, but just like last time, I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste, and then we'll do another video down the line, probably on Sunday, going through that pitch correct audio. So let's start off with everyone's favorite from last night, and that himself is the Gumball. He said that he wanted to be on stage, but didn't know how to make that happen. So he did anything and everything to get an audience. This included beatboxing on the street, performing in theme parks, and even got booed off stages during a competition. Okay, we've talked about a couple boy band members that have performed and were actors in different theme parks. Think about that in the future. Just, just think about that. Maybe we're thinking Orlando, maybe somewhere else. Uh, then he says he watched everyone succeed but refused to quit because no one was going to burst his bubble. We saw a lot of really good visual clues for him. We saw a sign for the American South with a heart on it, a drum set with a guitar, a giant black spider, I hate black spiders, with, a, with mushroom, and a horse-drawn carriage inside of a bubble. Last night's clue was a Wizard of Oz clue, and his was a heart clock? Kind of strange, I know. And he said about that, because deep down at the end of the day, Tin Man has always had a heart of a superhero. And I actually might too. 
Ooh, is it a singer who is known for the song Superhero? Maybe they have a song in with being a hero? Just putting it out there. Once again, we have pitch correct audio, but we're gonna save it for another video. Though I will give you a little bit at the end of this video. And as we're going through this in the comment section, let me know who you think these folks are. Next is Ms. Cleopatra. I said it wrong again. Cleopatra. I know, it's hard. I will get it, don't worry. Even up to the last day that she's on the show, I will, I will get it right. I promise I will. She says, long ago, I was living a life in Technicolor. Big clue right there. That means that person has been on TV for quite some time. But I always worry the empire could build, that I built, could crumble beneath me. Technically, I just realized something. That was an NBC thing. So as someone who was on NBC, I don't, I, that, that just clicked in my head as I was reading that. She says that her days were horribly split and went from glorious rainbows to horrendous black and white. Ms. Cleopatra was considered a national treasure, but felt wicked instead. That's when I got the diagnosis I never wanted, but desperately needed, and suddenly everything became crystal clear. She's glad she reached out for help because now she knows that she's the good witch after all. Oh gosh, I think I know who this is. Technicolor, NBC, there was a show, this person had to leave because of another celebrity, and she was plagued as a bad person, but she really was not the bad person, and this other person apologized. If you know what I'm talking about, you can kind of have a good understanding of who you think this is. Visual clues. We saw an hourglass, a sign for Bel Air. Bel Air. It's a good clue. A sign for vacay, a symbol of triangles with a triangle, a blackbird, and a tiara. All really, really good clues. Then we had her on stage coup for Wizard of Oz. It was a silver wand with a star and she says, of course, I've always worked my magic on an Emmy Award winning show. Woo! Who do you think that is? Let me know in the comment section. And then the Beats, who were so entertaining last night. I, I, we might, remember that you have to vote on who you want me to reveal. And my vote goes to these guys because I heard them sing and I went, ah! Yeah, I know, that sounds weird, but to be honest with you, I heard their voices and it reminded me of American Idol. And looking at the clues and going back and forth, I went, oh my gosh, I know who this is. They said, we had millions of eyes on us. Yeah, 40 million of them. Google it, you know. They say the world tried to pin them against each other, but they've always had each other's back. Of course, because they're family. Oh my, I love this. They say, I guess all we need now is to find the nerve to turn up together on this stage. It will be like going back to our roots. Though these people have been touring together for quite some time. Visual clues, old timey radio, a gift wrap copy of the book titled Beating the Odds, and two of hearts with a box of red apples. I'm not sure how the red apples clue kind of works out. On stage clue, they said Toto, of course, like Toto and Dorothy, we are the best friends, and we're pretty good co-stars, too. Such a big clue. Anyway, we have a little bit of Pitch Correct audio, just, just a little tease to kind of hang you over until Sunday. Listen to the original audio they gave us, then our audio, and then in the comment section, you gotta let me know who it is. Just like the Tin Man, my heart took quite a beating. Just like the Tin Man, my heart took quite a beating. Because my yellow brick road to success came with zero directions. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? It's taken me some time to figure that out. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? It's taken me some time to figure that out. There's no place like home, and wouldn't we know it? Home for us has been wherever we're together. There's no place like home, and wouldn't we know it? Home for us has been wherever we're together. And for a moment, we have millions of eyes on us. Yeah, 40 million of them. And who do you think that is? All of them. I'm pretty sure I know for a fact two out of that three. I need you to, uh, what, who do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know who you want me to reveal. I mean, I'm, I'm voting for the Beats, but we could do Cleopatra. Because those are the two that I'm 100% on. 100%. But I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye.